We're in the Pearl District at the Girding Theater, where in 2006, this facility opened to West Side Story. So glad you're with us, everybody, on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. You know, you don't hear about it much in the news anymore, but still, every nine and a half minutes in this country, someone is infected with the HIV virus. To talk more about this, we welcome Michael Kaplan, Executive Director of the Cascade AIDS Project. Thank you very much. Why is it we don't hear? about it. Yeah, we're 30 years into this epidemic and the attention span has gone, but we're, we've seen 25 million people lost globally already, 33 million living with it today, and in the U.S. alone we have 1.2 million Americans living with HIV, but you know, the attention span is, is not there, I guess. You know, we hear about it being more prevalent in other countries. Mm -hmm. Is, is mm -hmm. that the case? It's, you know, prevalence varies depending on where you're at. Uh, certainly about eight years ago, President Bush announced the emergency plan for AIDS relief in Africa, and we focused on countries like Nigeria, where there was a 3% of adults were HIV infected. Well, today in the U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C., 5% of the adult population is infected, and, and certainly, it de depending on what city you're in, you're going to find different prevalent rates. Do you think maybe it's not in the news as much because not, uh, people aren't dying at the same rate as it used to be because of new drugs? Well, uh, we've certainly taken deaths down. Uh, historically in the U.S., we were seeing 60, 65,000 people die each year due to HIV AIDS. While we haven't brought down infections, we have brought down deaths so that today there will probably be 15,000 deaths this year in the United States linked to AIDS or HIV. So what is the plan to bring down infections? Well, uh, there was some really exciting news that came out this May from the National Institutes of Health, which showed if you got an HIV-positive person like myself onto treatment, the likelihood of them transmitting HIV to their sexual partners was reduced by 96%. And that's huge. That means tomorrow, if we got every American to know their HIV status and to get onto treatment, we could take the 50,000 infections that have been happening annually over the last decade and bring them down to just a few thousand cases. Tell me about Cascade AIDS Project. So Cascade AIDS Project, we're the largest and oldest AIDS service organization. We serve Oregon and Southwest Washington, and we really cover the gambit. We do prevention, uh, run a statewide AIDS STD hotline. We do HIV testing for over 3,000 people each year. We do education in the schools with youth outreach. We do outreach into the bars. But then we do services for the 5,000 Oregonians who know they're living with HIV and the thousands others infected. Uh, things like housing support programs, cycle social support, a uh, camp for kids affected and infected. So do you have, uh, do you have workshops, do you have classes that you put on, and how do you, do you still find people that don't know exactly what AIDS is, and, and so give us a picture. Oh, so uh, there's, there's a lot of misinformation out there. Uh, the Kaiser Family Foundation does a national study each year, and I think it was in 2010, they found that it's still one-third of Americans would not want an HIV-positive person taking care of their children. 20% would not want to work with an HIV-positive person, and there's this misinformation of fear. I'm a foster parent. I'm HIV positive for 20 years. No one's going to get infected because they share a household with me or because I care for them. Um, and so what we do is try to get the education out there about what are the real risks. And the risks link only to sexual activity and, and through exchange of body fluids and through sharing of needles. Give me a picture of what the epidemic looks like today. So here in the U.S., it'll look different city to city, but overall, nationally, about half of infections continue to take place among gay and bisexual men. Half of infections are taking place among African American, and those are overlapping. Uh, certainly communities most marginalized tend to have higher impacts of HIV. Communities of color, people struggling with substance abuse, people who aren't getting sex education that meet their needs, such as gay and bisexual men. All right, so Cascade AIDS Project, uh, you have a website, Cascades, CascadeAIDS.org. Cascade and uh -huh. when people go there, they're going to find? They have a host of resources, uh, whether it's a link to the statewide AIDS STD hotline that can give them information on by zip code where they could get tested for HIV or STD services, where they could get housing services, uh, just a whole range of information. All right, Michael Kaplan, thank you very much for joining us. And we want to thank you as well for being here on Comcast Newsmakers for the crew here. Make it a great day.